In this lesson, we're looking at how we can use similar triangles to find other proportional segments that aren't necessarily the sides of similar triangles. So in order to do that, they have this activity um, sketched out for us in the textbook, and I have already done it. I constructed line EF parallel to side BC of the triangle. And then I measured the lengths of AF, FC, AE, and EB. And the first thing that they're asking is, why are EF and BC parallel? And if you can look at the arcs in the construction and see what I did, I made angle AEF congruent to angle B. Well, angle AEF and angle B are corresponding angles. So what I'm actually using is the converse of the corresponding angles theorem. And then we measured those segments and they want us to compare these ratios. So AE over EB, 6.7 over 3.5. to compare that to AF over FC. That's 11.5 over 6. So I'm going to compare these ratios by calculating the decimal value of them. So 6.7 divided by 3.5 is approximately 1.91 and 11.5 divided by 6 is approximately 1.92. Well, if you account for human error, these are, for all practical purposes, equivalent. So how could we show that triangle AEF is similar to triangle ABC? Well, I mentioned that the parallel lines are parallel because of the congruent corresponding angles. So I have that angle AEF is congruent to angle ABC and angle AFE is congruent to angle ACB and these angles are these pairs of angles are congruent because of the corresponding angles theorem and that makes the triangles similar by angle angle. So what do we know about the ratios AE over AB and AF over AC? AE over AB, these ratios are equivalent. Since they are corresponding sides, excuse me, of similar triangles. And they want us to use what we observed back here to draw a conclusion about the ratios AE over EB and AF over FC. And if I were to draw a conclusion, it would be pretty much exactly what you see later on in that page, the triangle proportionality theorem that if I have a line parallel to a side of the triangle, that line is dividing the other two sides into proportional segments. So let's prove that. I am given that EF is parallel to BC, so I'm going to show that triangle AEF is similar to triangle ABC. So I know that angle 1 and 2 are congruent, and that angles 3 and 4 are congruent, I mentioned this earlier, by the corresponding angles theorem. 
So triangle AEF is similar to triangle ABC by the angle-angle similarity. So now we're going to use uh, the corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional to now show that AE over EB is equal to AF over FC. So AB is to AE as AC is to AF. I know that AB is equivalent to AE plus EB. Similarly, AC is equivalent to AF plus FC. And I'm going to put that over the denominator I had in the previous step, which is AF. I'm using this property to break the numerator up so that I have two separate fractions. And when I do that, AF over AF is just 1, and then plus FC over AF. When I subtract 1 from both sides, I've just got that FC over AF now, and just in the interest of proving exactly that which I was setting out to prove, we're just taking the reciprocal of both sides now. So AF over FC. How could we conclude that triangle AEF is similar to ABC without using angles 3 and 4? We'll notice that angle A is an angle of both triangles. So we could say Instead of using angle 3 congruent to angle 4, we could say angle A is congruent to angle A by a reflexive property of congruence. So let's use the triangle proportionality theorem to find some segment lengths. In example 2, part A, we're finding the length of CY. Uh, notice this proportion is true, and then they take the values in the diagram and substitute them in, and they're not um, cross-multiplying to solve. They're taking the reciprocal of both sides and then multiplying by 10. That's one way to do it, but certainly I know a lot of you are very comfortable with cross-multiplying. You can totally do that. I would, however, urge you just use this answer, the 40 over 9. Don't rewrite it as 4 over 4 ninths. Uh, mixed fractions are so junior high. Similar example, uh, we're given that PQ is parallel to LM, so that means NQ is to QM as NP is to PL by the triangle proportionality theorem. So we're substituting our values in 5 for NQ, 2 for QM, and 3 for PL. And so we have this proportion, and again, from what I've seen, most of you are more comfortable with the idea of cross-multiplying to solve. So we have 15 equals 2 times NP, divide both sides by 2, and the length of NP is 7.5. Couple more examples. In example five, we know that 32 is to 24 as 40 is to BG, which is what we were asked for. Cross multiplying, we have 32 times DG equal to 40 times 24, which is 960. Divide both sides by 32. And the length of DG is 30. Another example like this, uh, 8 over 5 will equal 10 over RN. When we cross multiply, we have 8 times RN equals 50. Divide both sides by 8. And the length of RN is 6.25. The converse of the triangle proportionality theorem is also true, and what this allows us to do is if we see these proportional segments, AE over EB equal to AF over FC, we can use that information to conclude that EF is parallel to BC. But first, let's prove it. 
So this time we're given that AE over EB equals AF over FC, and we're going to use that in step one to show that the triangles are similar. So we have that proportion. They want us to take the reciprocal of it. So we get EB over AE equal to FC over AF. And what I'd hope that you'd realize is that we're kind of doing the other proof that we did earlier of the triangle proportionality theorem. And we're basically doing it backwards, right? So I'm adding one to both sides by adding AE over AE on the left side and AF over AF to the right side. So now I have AE plus EB over AE equal to AF plus FC over AF. And if I use segment addition postulate, we see that AE over EB is equivalent to AB now over AE. And AF plus FC is equivalent to the length of AC now over AF. Since angle A is congruent to angle A, these triangles are similar by side angle side similarity. So now that I have the, the triangles are similar, I know that their corresponding angles are going to be congruent. Angle AEF and angle B are corresponding angles and they happen to be congruent. So that means that EF is parallel to BC by the converse of the corresponding angles theorem. In this reflect question, we have uh, noticed the diagram triangle RST um, with segment UV drawn into it, and a student states that UV must be parallel to ST. Do we agree? Why or why not? What I'd hope that you'd realize is because of the markings, U and V are midpoints. of SR and TR, respectively. This makes UV a mid-segment. And a few modules ago, we learned that a property of a mid-segment that it will be parallel to the third side. And I believe the name of the property was the triangle mid-segment theorem. So let's use those proportions to show that lines are parallel. In part A, they've done the example for you. They set up the ratio 42 over 21. They set up the ratio 30 over 15. They showed that they're equivalent. Therefore, MN is parallel to KL by the converse of the triangle proportionality theorem. In part B, we know different segment lengths than we did in uh, part A. They gave us DC and CE in the diagram. And then here, they're telling us that AC is 36 and that BC is 27. So with a little thinking, we see that the length of AD is AC minus DC, which is 16. We find that the length of BE, put that in there. We find that BE is equivalent to BC minus EC. So that would be 27 minus 15, giving us 12. So let's set up those ratios. CD over DA is equivalent to 5 fourths. CE over EB is also equivalent to 5 fourths. So since those ratios are equal to each other, since CD over DA equals CE over EB, 
DE is parallel to AB by the converse of triangle proportionality. Theorem. In triangle ABC, in the example, what is the value of AB over DE? Well, we don't know the length of AB over DE, but we do know that these triangles are similar. So we know that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEC. And we could show that by angle-angle, since we just showed that the lines are parallel. Um, so, we know that AB over DE will equal AC over DC. And AC is 36, DC is 20, and that would reduce to 9 fifths. In the last example for our video, we're verifying that TU is parallel to RS. We would do so by showing that TU divided the other two sides of the triangle into proportional segments. So I'm comparing 90 over 72 to 67.5 over 54. And in my calculator, I evaluate 90 divided by 72. I get 1.25. I divide 67.5 by 54, I also get 1.25. So yes, those ratios are equivalent, therefore TU is parallel to RS by the converse of the triangle proportionality theorem.